Okay, so it's very simple. We need to make sure both power and ground is getting into the PCM so it can work. Um, so you want to check fuse 30 and fuse 2 in the interior fuse panel. And then you're going to go to the under hood fuse panel. And we're going to check the PCM diode. We're going to make sure both power is getting in, which is pin 2 on it, and getting out. Um, and then of course make sure pin or fuse 2 in the battery junction box is not blown. And then we're going to move on to the PCM power relay itself. Same thing, same under hood fuse panel. And we're going to make sure these powers are actually getting to it. So um, at least two of the pins inside of there should have power while the key is on. And that's pins 86 and 30 right here. Now, if you don't know which is which, pull the relay out and look at it, and it'll tell you exactly on there. On the side, it gives you a little diagram. And then the bottom, the pin numbers are there also, so you just kind of match it up. After that, what you can do is have someone turn the key on and, uh, you know, put your hand on that relay and make sure it clicks over. Um, you can also make sure that the pin 85 has a constant ground coming in, preferably load testing uh, this ground by jumpering a um, headlight bulb or motor of sorts that's going to pull amperage across 85 and 86 and then 85 and 30. After that, what you can do is... Uh, if you suspect there's any kind of internal PCM power relay issues, burnt contact, whatever, you can simply jumper pin 30 to pin 87. Those are going to be the larger pins on there, whereas 86 and 85 are lower amperage, smaller pins. And that will put constant power out to the PCM. Um, you want to also make sure um, if, if this is all checking out okay, we're going to have to go over to the PCM itself and start checking to make sure that, you know, pin 55 has power on it. Um, and then, of course, you have a constant ground at each one of these pins, 25, 3, 51, 76, and 103. I'm telling you right now, the grounds usually aren't an issue. It's the power coming in. That's why I say just concentrate on these two fuses, this fuse, and, of course, the PCM power diode and the relay to make sure it clicks over and it's actually sending power out. At that point, it goes through another set of fuses here, 23 and 18. I'll make sure those are okay because those are going to power different items on the vehicle. What you also can do is turn the key over to the on position, and you should have power um, on this one. This is the mass airflow sensor, okay? So this is a signal out to the PCM, what it reads. This is a constant ground uh, from the PCM. And this is a constant ground for the heater element in there. Um, the power that comes into the mass airflow sensor and the V powers and all this other stuff is switched over by the PCM power relay. So if you're getting power at pin one of the mass airflow sensor, Going back to 361, 16 red, it says there, you can see it's the same wire right here. So if, if that's getting power, it's not getting power unless the PCM power relay is switched over and working. This one, of course, goes out and powers the PCM on there, gives it full power. Um, so the easiest way to do it, I guess, is to go after the mass airflow sensor pin one red wire see if it's getting power if it's not we need to backtrack and start testing all this all the way up onto the source hopefully this helps